Hi everyone, this is Phil with Dirt Monkey University and today I do not want to talk to you about dirt. I want to talk to you about this stuff. 57 stone. This is a coarse uh, stone about three quarters of an inch to an inch and it's great for drainage. What we're doing on this project is we're building a paver patio that's going to extend off of the house to just a portion underneath the, this deck up to the stairs. So what's important here is this wall is pretty short. It's about three and a half feet tall at its highest maximum point. And you might be tempted to try to get away without doing any drainage. And we've seen lots of jobs that get done where contractors will just backfill with dirt only. I do not recommend this really with any wall in any situation, but specifically where water is going to be sloping down and has a potential to seep it in behind this wall. What we've done here is we've put in a boatload of this 57 stone instead of using dirt. So where normally in a simple, in a normal drainage system, you're gonna have about 12 inches of this dirt. You're gonna wrap it in a fabric and allow that to create a separation between your gravel and your dirt. So eventually they don't combine. So water always continues to filter through there and you keep that French drain piping clean. In this situation, after we've reached that kind of one foot rule, we're just going to keep going with stone. And here's why. But yes, it's more expensive, but it also is self-compacting. It's been raining. It's kind of uh, the middle of the winter season. You can see that there's a little bit of snow in the background. And for Georgia, that's a lot of snow. And the dirt that we're buying is exposed to all of the elements. If I were to buy dirt, it'd be really, it's got a very high clay content. It would be very difficult to compact that dirt and it would just create a lot of labor problems for me. If I bring in this stone, we dump it in, we roll over it, it's compacted. So I, in most situations where I have this slope off of the house, a patio that's going to be roughly 15, 16 feet off of the house and I have to build a small wall to support that. In most of these situations, I'm almost always going to use this drainage stone to support it because I'm not going to have to worry about sinking and settling and compaction and coming back later. The other thing that we're doing is we are waterproofing all of these posts. I'm going to move this shovel out of the way and we are waterproofing all these posts. We're coating them with a black tar product that will seal out moisture and prevent them from rotting prematurely. There is one extra step we could take, which would be to raise the posts up above and put them on standoff plates. Um, here's the downside to that. This is a really big deck, and this was going to make the project really out of budget for the homeowners. These posts are designed to last 20 years, so if we add the waterproof coating, that's going to extend the life of the post. Also, because we have probably about 11 of them or so it would be we'd have to if we were going to take them and put them on standoff plates we'd have to pour all these new about 11 new footings and uh, we'd have to jack up the deck temporarily and it was just uh, almost cost prohibitive to do the job at that point so when you're in doubt when you're backfilling a retaining wall go the extra mile get this get this 57 stone or three quarter stone drainage stone um, if you've got some posts we're surrounding all of these posts with that stone to create good drainage around each one of them but when in doubt go with that stone because you're going to eliminate a, all of your future concerns about water yes dirt is cheaper and that's where the benefit of it stops it's unpredictable to work with sometimes stone is absolutely is very predictable it's self-compacting the labor is simple so whatever you think you're spending extra on the stone I can assure you that you will save it later in the long run on the labor. So that's the message for the day from Dirt Monkey University. Don't use dirt.